Assalamualaikum and very good morning to everyone. My name is Nur Hafizah Mehdi Yusuf. Today I would like to present about the role of socialization towards participation of Malaysia female players in esports. For introduction, esports is a growing form of digital sport that attracts hundreds of million viewers worldwide. This is a form of sport where the main aspect of these sports are based on electronic systems. Or in the other words, e-sport refers to competitive video games. In Malaysia, e-sport are growing rapidly. Malaysia is the 21st largest e-sport market in the world with the value of 2.4 billion ringgit Malaysia as of 2017. Such that Malaysia has more than 14 million e-sports players. In traditional sports, stereotype about gender always remain, which leads to the belief that women are weak athletes, and the mass media is also biased towards the ability of women. Many people believe that men will excel compared to the women, especially in sports that involve physical, such as strengths and speeds. However, in sports, gender stereotypes are also difficult to understand due to the unique nature of these sports. Although there is no physical context, but aggressive nature is part of these sports. Women are often oppressed and given the stigma that they are not smart and not suitable for playing aggressive online games. However, there are a small number of women who have successfully entered the esports arena, even though most players in this sport are males. Therefore, the objective of this article is to explore the successful socialization role for bringing these female players in to be part of esports method that has been used um, are qualitative technique using in-depth interview towards six informers. The informers are were found through snowball sampling, and their characteristics are and their characteristics were female athletes actively involved with esports, and their age between 18 to 30 years old and they are representing a sports club. And then the data were analyzed using thematic analysis and narratively presented. Profile informers. There are six of informers. <coughs> Female uh, informer. Sharina, Shaira, Sakina, Shira, Ayin and Bella. They are representing the team of Angel Bosco, Orange Hera, and Week Gaming. And they are and became as a professional gamers between four months to 1.5 years. The role of socialization towards participation of esports players is the female is the primary socialization agent that plays an important role in individual life. Based on the interviews conducted by the researchers, most of the informers stated that their families are the driving force in their involvement in esports. Families such as parents and brothers has given a lot of encouragement and support to the informers on their involvement in the world of esports. Said Shahira, my parents are also kind of supports. When I played during the tournament for PUBG, that day, my parents came to see me play. However, for Sakina and Shira, they went through a different experience with their parents. At the first time, my family did not support. But then, you know, when people have opened up a spot, this minister also says about a spot, so they started to accept slowly. Because families started have a doubt about gaming at the first place. While well, Shira said, I did not get support from my parents because the game is not for a woman. But I showed them that this person has bought a car from the game winning incentive. That they slowly allowed me to be a gamer. It is not necessarily that you work outside, you can earn money. But being in front of a PC or handphone, you can also earn money. The rejection from their parents still happened because of the parents did not did know that by playing a video game they can have a career. This happened because many research showed 
that video game always link with negative activities. Yeah. For the more yeah. video yeah. games, they are both seen in with men and women. Therefore, parents put a gender stereotype where daughters cannot play video games and even the culture in Malaysia is very famous by classifying what should be done by men and women. Second, secondary socialization Secondary socialization agents. Agents consist of relative, colleges, based media, coaches, and opponents. This is because this agent is also grouping co capable of influencing for the formation of social identity of sport players. Overall, based on the interview conducted by the researchers, many informers who have been interviewed stated they are also influenced and get encouragement from their friends, including friends in the game. According to Sakina, my friends also play games, so since then I just play games. Likely, my friends is our coach in sports. Your friend is your boss and your own exciting friend. Based on the quotation above, Sakina has also been encouraged by her friends to play games. According to her, friends are also her coach because they themselves incited her to play games and enter the tournaments. While Bella ended, friend, because she is the first woman to join the PUBG tournament, you know the spirit of wanting to create your own woman team. Based on the experts of the conversation above, Bella made a motivator or patient for her to get involved in the sport and to become a professional play, video player by another female player who also her friends. Coaches are also one of the socialization agents that can influence professional players to get involved in e-sport and even coaches will monitor and provide training to them. According to Sharina, for Angel Bosco, we have a coach. Our coach is good. Based on the above quotation, information Sharina stated that her group, Angel Bosco, has a coach named Agus. He stated that five days before entering the competition, his coach will come and provide training to their group. According to Sharina, they will practice together in one room at their gaming house in Cyberjaya. While for Shira and Wick gaming team, they always get support from their leader. She said their leader provide guidance and practice every night and prompt her to enter esports competition. According to Shira, even though she has been involved in esports for more than a year, she still gets support and encouragement from their leader and even the encouragement has never changed, even though she has participated in many competitions. For conclusion, indeed there are various socialization agents that encourage the involvement of professional female video players in esports. Therefore, it can be concluded that there are two types of socialization agents that are drivers of the involvement of female professional video players, which is so at primary and social secondary socialization agents. Primary socialization agent consists of family members where the family is an agent that plays a very important role in the life of individual while the secondary Courses of colleges, based media courses, and openers. Conclusion through the data obtained in this study can be concluded that the group of female professional video players who are actively involved in esports have a good ability to continue to progress in this field. Their involvement in esports because of the social socialization process have proven that more women can venture into this field. For acknowledgement, I would like to thank uh, to Ministry of Education, MOE, uh, because uh, granting me a grant under the scheme of uh, Fundamental Research Grant Scheme, FRGS, to conduct the studies. Thank you very much. Thank you and goodbye.